This morning, we continue our exclusive look behind the scenes of the Today Show. Nowadays, with social media, the anchors can really connect with viewers in a different way. It's sleeting, it's raining, what is this? It's called sneet. Viewers watching the Today Show may not see it, but it's something the anchors are doing each and every morning, tweeting. Uh, we do it to enhance our storytelling. We do it to connect with our viewers. Uh, but I think we... You know, we, I think you can walk a fine line of, it's like, enough, enough with the tweeting. Sometimes the tweets are about what's coming up in the show, like Savannah Guthrie's exclusive interview with President Obama. Other times, it's a glimpse behind the scenes, what happens when the cameras aren't rolling, or at least the studio cameras. During a recent snowstorm, who knew Savannah and Natalie Morales walked to work together that morning? Thanks to this picture, everyone who follows along on Twitter. People sometimes say, oh, who does your Twitter for you? And I always think that's really funny. <laughs> like, I do it. I mean, of course, I think that the value of it is that people get to feel like they know you or they're seeing some side of you that they wouldn't get to see mm -hmm. during the two hours of the show. So I really enjoy it. Well, this winter's flu vaccine. Going from here to here and making a job in the spotlight even more public can be an adjustment. I think I was one of the last to really fully embrace social media. I think it's a hard thing, you know, you kind of feel like that's sort of your private life. But um, I, you know, I, I, I'd say that's like, that, that is a big portion of our job. So big, tweets kept Al Roker going during his recent trip into the record books. He did a live weather report for 34 hours straight. The Twitterverse followed along at hashtag Rokerthon. The first 15 minutes were the hardest because I started thinking, I, I don't think I can do this. And then thanks to uh, guys like you and talking back and forth and got, we were off to the races and boom. While Al says he puts the digital devices away on the weekends, other anchors still tweet away. My husband sometimes says, like, you should have a breathalyzer before you tweet, like on a Saturday <laughs> night. Someone sends me a mean message I really want to write back. He's like, no, <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. From behind the scenes kisses to priceless family moments, there's a whole other view for viewers to see. The Today Show's new puppy even has his own Twitter account and thousands of followers. If viewers are lucky, they may get a favorite or even a retweet. And it's so neat to see that. And some of those behind the scenes shots that they provide through their Twitter accounts and Facebook and other things, it's really interesting to get that kind of a look into their lives ultimately. Yeah, I think you get a better view into who they are. And it's right. just such a different experience from years ago when really the only way you could connect with them was watching them on the television. Exactly. And now we have social media to thank and actually we use it too. Yeah, it, we it always have on. our phones are right yeah, exactly. here and we're constantly tweeting away. I so mean, the, it's the baby was born December 1st. So, and, and we tweeted out pictures and stuff like that, and everybody who watches us in Central New York was kind of yeah. a part of that moment for us, and it made it special for us, too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, here's what's coming up tomorrow. We're going to wrap up our special report with a look at how the anchors balance family and work and who picks out their clothes. There's always a lot of questions about wardrobe. <laughs> and, and it gets kind of interesting, some of the responses. You'll definitely want to join us. Pete?